But again, a part that's going to make this even stranger is, and this is maybe just in the United States, but what we often learn in school prior to collegiate learning of first order logic <coughs> is this notion that when we use the word and, we mean the logical and. So go to the grocery store, get bread and milk. But interestingly enough, when we get into the or operator, we generally mean exclusive or, not inclusive or. And the reason why <laughs> is that what we mean when we generally say or in normal things is this or that. Well, dear, you can have popcorn or you can have ice cream. Which do you want? What we mean <laughs> in first order logic with uh, inclusive or is either can be true or both can be true. You can have the popcorn and the ice cream. The exclusive or is the or that we use in normal conversation. It's one or the other, not both. So do you want the popcorn or the ice cream? You can only have one. And that actually is why we call it exclusive or. It's you can have one or you can have the other, but you cannot have both. It's exclusive to each one of these.